Welcome back everybody to more Ellen Wake. Look at that scenery in the main menu. It's quite cool, very spooky. Uh, that being said, we are trying to find Alice, of course. We found the kidnapper and he's blackmailing us for some manuscripts. But apparently there's someone worse pulling the strings because there is this mysterious lady that got Rose possessed and she's leading us somewhere, making us believe the manuscripts are there, but they're probably not. I guess we are all getting into a trap, but let's find out. Here you go. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. <laughs> Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI oh. agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Huh. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Who are you? It's Randolph. I'm the manager. Hey, We're Randolph. Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That oh, Rose, she's you're a nice injured. girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Let's Alan, look around. I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Mm. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. let's look around. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Push. Thomas <laughs> Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. Thomas a Zane. Of searches, couldn't find a single thing. Oh. Zane yeah, I remember. So much so that the place came to we saw his books in the cabin line, where we lost Alice first time. Erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. 1970, and Zane went out with the island. Okay. Something going on about this Zane. This is the second time we are hearing about him. When we went to the Come cabin on, the first time I'll with Alice, we saw his books. Trail. Remember? Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, getting carried away, but let's check this area just as well. Me. It's not far. Don't give up on me, it will take me just a moment. Okay, I think I'm done. Yeah. Listen, let's go. I got things to do. This place <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Poor guy. What happened there? The boat? What? Okay, I think there's no point of going in every little alley because, uh, yeah, there's nothing here. I'll just follow him. Yeah, I'm looking, but I think there's nothing. Want to explain what happened here? Yeah, what the heck? That. It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. What the heck? That's not normal. Oh, uh, give me a break, mister. Can we just get a move on? <laughs> oh, man. He ain't got zero patience for me. Can I get a hot dog? It's closed. We're going over here, okay. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a oh. little spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Hold on, that story kind of parallels to our story. 
Barbara drowns and Zane, her lover, is a writer. We lost Alice as she was drowning. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. Okay, go on. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. The lamp lady, yeah, um, anyway, so... She knew both okay. Jagger and Zane Go on. before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Interesting. So the first time we saw that lady that was messing with the lights was just before we saw that other scary lady in black. Maybe it's the same one. Something is going on here. Something weird. And what the hell is that? How? What? There was a tornado? Or something supernatural? Tonight in Night Springs. I want another episode. We just got the one. It's not enough. It was too good. This coat, <laughs> Barry. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Hopefully she's not possessed anymore. Oh, lovely decorations. Hey, Rose. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. She's still possessed. Have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. I don't want to. I'm scared. Hey, this is really good! <laughs> glad you like it. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. Amuse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry, <laughs> she doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's? Don't drink this oh. thing. Oh no. Barry. Ellen, what? don't tell me you drink. He drank it. <laughs> Kobayashi. <laughs> I work for Kaiser so that long. Convince me. Convince me. Damn. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the lights on, huh? I doubt this woman is even real. Maybe she's in our head. Hung over. Only anger kept me going. She's a fan of Wake, all right? Ellen Wake, Ellen Wake. She does have other books as well. Hey, yeah, Barry is so out of it. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, let's leave the trailer. That's the objective, but will Barry be okay? Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. It wasn't Rose. It was someone who possessed her. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. And he was snowing right. heavily. Deserve more. So <laughs> handsome. 
I think it'll be okay. Just need to rest a bit. Guess that coffee or tea, whatever you drink, was really strong. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Got it. But manuscript first. Okay, here we go. Randolph calls the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't mm. any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. So you know how many times the shadows we are fighting are characters we meet along the way i guess you're gonna fight randolph now or maybe even rose also possible but i like the way you describe rose i mean through randolph's eyes but still the way he said it um that little smile she had how she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter those are the people i admire the most that always keep that optimistic spirit within them and still maintain their kindness and are able to be nice to other people even though life is hard and can break you sometimes it takes a lot of strength to stay positive and nice and all that so i appreciate that in people so i think rose is like that but now she's possessed her. does that get to the car Where's the car? And how can I get there without weapons? Because I know what's coming at me. Also, I should mention that while editing the previous video, I noticed that I always had a problem with ammunition, not enough ammo most of the time. And I think I figured out why. When I'm using the flashlight on those enemies, there's a point when their shadow kind of cracks. Maybe that's the that's the time that I need to start shooting, not from the beginning, because I feel like I'm wasting ammo for nothing. So I'll try to test it today. Okay. Oh, let's go. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all mm. tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. KBF FM. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny, you know, Danny, and... Uh, then I got in trouble with the law, you know, and, um, I'm just, well... I heard something like that, Walt. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Starting to get worried here. Uh, just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? It doesn't sound okay. Know. You know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. He's not okay. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? I hope it'll be okay. I don't know. It sounded uh, in a bad state. All right, the boat. I cannot pass from here. Oh, Randolph, you're awake. 
For some reason, I thought it would be a sleep. Oh, you're gonna get it now. Huh. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. Well, this the manuscript said he called the police. FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. That's bad. What are I'm standing right here, you So this is Agent maniac. Nightingale, I thought. The the kidnapper that's was his name. I'm kinda confused. I need to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Okay. Escape the police. Uh, let's go. Oh, they're shooting. Okay. I think for now we lost them. Maybe not. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a chopper. Ellen, try not to get tired fast. Do me a favor. How? How do you see me? You cannot see me here, right? There's the light. This time we're gonna stay away from the light. How the tables have turned. Okay. I see what I need to do here. There you go. Oh, come on. Damn. That's not fair. Oh, jeez. Here they come. Damn those flares. Let's go through the woods. Not through the main road. Catch your breath. Okay, let's go. Catch your breath. All right. Oh, a manuscript. I see it. Checkpoint. Okay, the Dark Presence sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When Yikes. It sent the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Uh, Barbara's shadow opened its eyes. Let's make sure it won't be the fate of Rose. Of, uh, sorry, Alice. Every time I'm getting tired, I think I should go to the side to catch my breath. That would be smarter, right? Oh no. I have no weapons. What in the world? Checkpoint. Okay, my objective is still to escape the police. Don't know where I'm going, but I'll just go. Look at them. Don't search the area. There's nothing in the area. Stay sharp. Don't stay sharp. This way. Okay. Oh, 
I think I'm gonna miss the police because something else is in there. And it's killing the policeman. Oh my god, this is terrifying that you cannot see it, you can just hear it. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Yeah. We oh, so need a gun. So need a gun. Wake's doing? No! Word. It's not me. Maybe it's my stories, though. Chopper is still up there. Oh, the music. This is scary. There's the chopper. Oh, the crows. Oh, they're gonna destroy the chopper? Oh my god. Damn. They're capable. Those crows. Very dangerous. Sheesh. Before we are climbing, let's see if there's something around here. Also, let's have a look. Oh, let's not fall down. I was uh, not standing on anything. Okay. Guess let's go up. Damn, the chopper went down. I'm gonna use it in a second. Wanna look around. Okay, let's use it. Zoom and look, alright. Damn. Oh. There you go. Let's check this one. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Maybe we should go over there? Okay, going in. Coffee! Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Whoa. Hey, Mulligan, what are you doing? Come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that Fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All we get out. They got Rose and Barry. 
Huh. So now I should go to the radio station. I'm guessing because Ellen referred to that. Yeah, let's go down. And from here. Still don't I have a weapon. That the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Hmm. I see. Okay, so we have our destination. Maine. Decent guy, that's hope. I actually agree. It does sound like a decent guy. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Let's uh, find the light source. It's gotta be something. Hell yeah, that was easy. There was no power to the searchlight. Hmm. So, what can we do about it? We can grab some coffee. I think I found it. We know where it goes. There is power now. Something else around here? Guess not. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Oh. It's time limited. Oh, just need to kick it, I see. Okay. Um, was it a Jurassic Park? Yeah, Jurassic Park. Second movie. When he said... Violence and technology? Not going well together? Well, he was wrong. <laughs> okay, boost. Woo! I see. Oh, I wasted it. Damn it. Okay. I can kick you all day. Okay. Let's do it fast. Okay. Aim it, aim it, aim it. And boost. I think we got it. Well, yeah. Nice and easy. Checkpoint reached. How about a weapon? Oh, do we have another light source here? Because I think it's going to happen again and again. Let's see if we got manuscript, something. There you are. Oh, it's a flashlight. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, that's right. Why well, the shadow is still here? It's creepy. Hello? It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Hell yeah. Okay, made the mouse button to throw the grenade. Cool. Let's not waste it. Come on, guys, talk to me. Come in, please. Over. 
Maybe I should talk to her. <laughs> Actually, we should not. They'll find me, but... I just looked if there is a way to interact. Hmm... Okay... I hear something. Okay, I don't have a weapon, but I have this. Oh, actually it's like a weapon. Um. Okay, let's not waste another grenade. I think it's too precious. He's coming after me. Maybe I'll have to? Okay. Bye. Damn, I should have managed to take them all down with one. Felt like it was unnecessary to use two, but yeah, live and learn. Man, that sound effect is so disturbing. I don't know why it feels so... I don't know, I feel so insecure just working with those grenades and without a weapon. It doesn't make you feel in control when you have only the grenades. He's after me! Oh! Jesus. Damn it! Should I waste another grenade? I have only four. Leave me alone. Fine. Oh, there's a light source over here. I really wasted this one. Okay, but I got a lot more. Oh. Listen to the radio. Batman. What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of Batteries. cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like yep. a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't serious. sound like a party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. And we got some music. Let's go. There's a manuscript. Let's get it. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot! Oh my god! Oh, jeez! Whoa! And here's another call. Okay, we heard that already, so... That was an ambush! I wonder if I need to crack their shadow to break it with a flashlight if I use the grenades. Let's see. No, it's just as effective. Oh, jeez! Gotcha. Damn it. Needed to use two. Whew. I was about to take this one. I hope I did not miss all of these. Usually it's not in the same order, so... Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and grey crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. 
She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Poor Rose, she's suffering. I feel bad for her. Oh. I heard something? I don't know. Here they come! Stop throwing stuff! Damn it! Bye bye! Okay, I'm getting used to those grenades. Starting to like them. How many of you are there? There's a light over here, maybe we don't need to waste a grenade. Oh! I thought there was a light here. It was just a cave, but a very generous cave. Thank you. Okay, what we got now? We got, yeah! We got the flares as well. Nice. Oh, it is a light! Oh, damn it! Or is it? Trust no one in the dark. What is this? What did I do? Okay, it's not the light. I don't know what it is. Should I carry uh, this? The grenades or those flashlights? The grenades are more precious, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Try to not waste them. Okay, we have a weapon. That's that's a start. I feel more comfortable. Jeez! Jeez. What's wrong with you? Came out of nowhere. I think I gotta be on the move all the time. a police car damn it ouch that hurt okay you know what yeah let's do it I have two more left, so not a lot, but we'll try to make it. No, oh. pick up. Oh, oh! Now we have a lot. Hell yeah! I didn't see it. I almost missed that. Jeez, that feels good. Scary woods. We are getting close. The radio station. We made it. We made it. Oh. However. Oh. Damn. That headbutt. Oh, come on. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what you get. Jeez. Well, there's a light here. Why? I had to fight him. I could just come in. What a mistake. Let's uh, look around before we we'll enter. Coffee! The Night Owl. The voice of Pat Main. All night, every night. Early bird. Okay, a lot of radio shows. It's nice. Yeah, I see Main inside. Let's hope he's nice. We look around a bit more. Okay, we're ready to go. <laughs> You're out of shape, Ellen. 97.6 FM, KBF FM, Bright Falls Radio. Nice. Can I snoop? Locked. Oh, How you doing? The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. Oh, you're the one from the boat. Oh. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Come in. Oh, what microphone do you have? Is it better than mine? Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. Uh, Dan? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Judas Priest! What, what the, the hell? hell? What's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. What's wrong with him? Sheriff should fire him. Well. I'll get you yet, even if it kills me, you hear me? Oh, you psycho. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Yeah, that didn't work. They found us, so let's find another way to the mine. Uh, Nightingale in the radio Nightingale station. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Yeah. Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. This nightingale is insane. Okay. Hello. We have a lot of flares now. Got five. What is this green thing over there? Oh, I think we have company. Yes, we do. Wait a second. What do I got here? Wait a minute. Use the flare. I'm I'm hitting the button. What? What is wrong with you? Try to use the flares. Maybe I did not uh, select I it. Off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the. Nightingale stared through the. Okay, we heard that. Ops and find my own way to the mine. So well, they attacked me. I was trying to use the flares, but also. Um. I think I saw a way to turn on a light or something. 
try to fix it, so let's try again. There you go. Come on. Come on. No, it just gas or something. What does that do? Oh, there's a light. Oh, we got a weapon now. So yeah, um, my first assumption was right. It turned on this light over here. Great. Now if I step out, they'll come at me, right? Don't see them for now. Here they are. Yeah, once the shadow cracks, it takes way less rounds to take them down. That's the way to go. Where's the last one? Yeah, guys, I... I fought wrong this entire time. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Cool. But still, I have uh, not a lot of rounds. So I should be resourceful all the time. Wait a minute, how many of you are there? Okay, let's do this. Sometimes it's better. Nice. Um, I don't know if this is the way, but I want to explore this place. Yeah, I think this is another way. Where the hell am I going here? That's an amazing view, though. Maybe there's a manuscript or something? Climbed for nothing? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's upsetting. Oh, still goes up. Wait a minute. Maybe there is something after all. How high it goes? Let's go with it, I don't know. Maybe this is how I continue. Maybe there's an entrance to the mine up there. Reach the train depot, so let's see. Guys, I'm going up and up and up, and I have no idea if this is something I should do. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I guess I should have come here. Okay, good. There you go. Got something out of it. So, Walter fights Danny. Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it, first with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. Mm. The booze wouldn't make him forget. But he knew we had to try. Thanks. Oh, 
Okay, I think, though, that's all there is to this place, right? Yeah. Well, we got something out of it. Out of this climb. It was worth it. And now, I need to go down. It's good for Ellen. He's not in shape. He's getting tired so fast, so you know. A little climbing, that's one way to work on it. <laughs> Damn, Ellen. Holy cow. I did not see that coming. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> Even this little jump and BAM! It feels like you are dropping from a real high place. No! Oh, I was ready for you this time. For most of you. Are oh, they gonna kill me? Jesus. The noise they make. That's the terrifying thing. Whew. Yeesh. Nowhere to. No! Okay, I got no ammo, so let's uh, go with... Maybe I should use the grenade. That's where I came from, right? Making sure. Yeah. See some green lights. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. Light. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Interesting. Very interesting. Don't go off. I think I should use it smartly or something. Yeah, let's wait with it before we turn it on again because it tends to go off. The darkness controls the taking. I think it will help me later on this thing. This one will go off as well. They're all timed. Oh, baby. Oh no! Shut up! Oh, and it's off. There you go. Shotgun time. Actually, you know what? Let's go! Oh, damn it! Yes! Okay. The grenades. That's the game changer. Right. Uh, 
Let's uh, continue. Oh, there was another one over here. What do you know? Nice. Let's do it once. Eh, I know it's a waste, but... I did hold myself many times from doing that. Coffee time. This place is so scary, guys. Manuscript, give me that. Sarah distrusts Nightingale. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. Yeah. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Yeah, we don't like this man. Well, we do need to reach the train depot, so I think we're close. Thank you. It's a lot of good stuff. How are we doing? Nice. Kidnapper? Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. That was so shady. That was not her. That was her voice, the but the connection had been terrible. But doesn't that sound like she's talking really. Been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. Yeah. But she had called me. Yeah, that's also true. DM? Another one. Nice. Wake attacked by a possessed object. It wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Thank you for letting me know what I'm, what I'm about to face. He said when he used the flashlight, he just, you know, uh, went after him with rage or something, so it won't work. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Let's hope. I'm afraid of what we just read in the manuscript. The darkness now possessing items and objects, so... Yikes. It's coming. That's the train. Oh, I'm getting paranoid because of this game. Jeez. Don't you dare. That manuscript got into my head, guys. That was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. I don't like this. No. Where it's coming from? I don't know. Oh, 
Ouch! Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. That worked. Another one. Is it over? Oh my god, that's brutal. Stop it. Oh my god, that's scarier than those, uh, you know, the one that can attack me with weapons. That was scarier. Are you serious? Jesus. That's one piece shadow. <laughs> oh my god. Someone down there died. <laughs> Jeez. Oh no. <sighs> Wake in the dark presence in the launch. Slam the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. It was inside the lodge with me. Yeesh. It's not gonna get any easier, guys. <laughs> but, damn, this game is good. As a teenager, the her stuff picks up as you Stephen continue. King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. Heavy duty flashlight? Closer. What's the difference? I'm not sure. Oh, I think the heavy duty got a... Yeah, longer lifespan. Look at this. It's uh, quite longer. Nice. I like it. I like it. I'm all uh, reloaded and ready to go. Yeah. Cool. We need a better flashlight to fight those objects thrown at me. Okay. Everything is a possible enemy now. They managed to get me so paranoid. As I said, they're picking up the horror stuff as you continue. It's brilliant, but it's also terrifying. <laughs> okay, give me this. Let's get inside, I guess. Wait a minute. Nice. Let's see if we got something else, actually. Okay, give me that. Woo! I uh, don't have... Uh, cannot carry more batteries. Alright. So, that's how we open the gate, obviously. Ellen! Did you call 911? <laughs> one one? Good one. Uh, that was easy. With the grenades. Thank you, grenades. Oh, jeez. This is so creepy when they are stuck like that. This bag keeps occurring. No! 
Damn you. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Dead. Dang it. I'm trying to save some grenades and, you know, the good stuff and shotguns, so... But I need to be better. <laughs> Alright, there's another one. Damn it! That sucked. I was really bad there. It was terrible. Okay, there's a second one, so I need a better positioning. There you go. Jeez. Gotcha. Gotcha this time. We had more batteries outside, so let's get those. Nice. That's what you get. After a million tries, eventually I get you. In light, you can hurt them. And I think that's established by now. Find a vehicle. Okay. Evolve our munition, batteries. Beautiful. Night Springs? Please? No? Man, I cannot wait for another episode. Starting to think we won't find it. It's only that one episode and it was so good. It was hilarious. Nice. Break attacked by the dark presence. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Yikes. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. That's our new future? Oh damn. Here it comes, I guess. Oh my god! No! Ouch! It's behind me! There you go. Okay, we have items around here. So let's enjoy those. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, 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 I see what's going on. Is it even working? Those flares? Uh... No. Tried to fight it, but I... 
can't seem to find a spot. Let's try this. Did I do something to it? I don't think so. The wheels! I think the wheels. Yes! Okay, okay. Yeah! Gotcha. Oh! What did I use? I wanted the normal gun. Okay, never mind. It's okay. Ooh, uh, that was something. Let's move on. More batteries, but I'm full. I didn't even use the shotgun. Look at me. I think once I figure out that you need to break their shadow to make it crack, uh, it changed the game for me. I think I'm doing way better than the previous episode in which I sucked and I did not have ammunition at all because I was wasting it from the beginning it was so wrong that being said we got a vehicle that's good I had never been this glad to see the sunrise <laughs> I had a couple of hours to get to the coal I bet. mine I bet. The coal mine wasn't far now. Give me Lord of the Rings vibe. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Go to the coal mine. Let's face that kidnapper. Oh, I lost all my weapons. Why? It's not a new episode. Why I lost all my weapons? I know it's daytime, but still. And uh, why won't we use the car? I think we should. Without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper yeah. into dark waters. Alice had been taken. Oh, it's beautiful. Away. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It Wait a minute. It felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Oh my God, guys! This is GTA. What the heck? What? It's GTA, let's go! <laughs> uh, from here, I guess? I enjoy driving in this game. It's pretty solid. There you go. Oh. Rest in peace, car. <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh my god, we're gonna try all the vehicles. Oh my god. There's another one. Oh, wait a second. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBS. Main! My main. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. Yeah. You see, I Nightingale. a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a Word? Ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, <laughs> I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone yeah. I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, 
On a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Hey. Good time, man. Good time. And we got a new car. Gonna try all of them. Yeah, with every car you can do the light trick when you get it stronger. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? I think I went back accidentally. Oops. <laughs> That was uh, pretty embarrassing, and somehow we did not die. I'll take it. So, when I get here, where I'm going from? I think this way. Yeah, there you go, that's better. We don't want to fall down, we don't want to die, we just want to get to the coal mine. This is relaxing, let's enjoy it, because we won't get a lot of those in this game. It's mostly shadows and line objects. Oh, the other car, let's go! I'm stealing all the cars. For that, though, maybe I should climb. You can never know what you'll find. Jesus, get in shape. Hey, radio. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life. Ah, it continues. That someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Oh, see, to me that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or... Heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Mm. And, and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but... I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was, and she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her, and I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life, I, I'm not living in the past. But I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. That was freaking beautiful. Ah, love, love, love. Okay, okay. Let's continue. So, we just found a new car. Fancy one, even though I don't care for that color. Should be a sweet ride. Let's go. Wow. Look at those buildings. Interesting. So we got here. I don't feel like going to the coal mine. I feel like exploring everything, guys. What's going on here? Are you serious? Oh, that was close. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Uh, 
Ah, I was we cannot. Early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. I know, I know, but I'm just looking around. <laughs> ah, you see, found the manuscript. I did not come here for nothing. Mott on the ferry. Not, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Huh. Is Mott eyeing for Alice? Because that's not cool. That's my wife we're talking about. Okay. Last try to jump on that, even though I think we cannot. Last try. No, impossible. So, we are done with this place. Let's get back into the car. And enjoy our chilling, sweet riding time. During daytime. Very different from most of the things we've done so far in the game. So let's enjoy it while it lasts. Visitor parking. Parked. Time to look around. The Bright Falls Coal Mine Museum. While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns and Swedes, uh, among others, worked the mines. Get some history. And coffee. Bright Falls Coal Mine Museum. Checkpoint reached. A lot of access and stuff. Okay, so we will call it an episode now, right over here. We have a manuscript over there, but okay, we'll do it next time. Um, yeah, and uh, I think we're getting closer to the kidnapper. It's going to be interesting next time. And yeah, today was uh, pretty intense because we got now flying objects. The shadow possesses objects and that's kind of terrifying. But I feel like I got better today because I kind of figured out how to use uh, the light and wait for the moment the shadow breaks and only then attack. So I managed to preserve a lot of ammunition this way. So I think I'm getting the hang of things. Uh, we died multiple times, of course, because... Yeah, that's what I do. But in general, I feel like I got uh, the hang of it a bit better. Uh, yeah, not ton happened in terms of the story today, but we do know that we are close to find the kidnapper. Also, Nightingale is bad news. I thought it was the kidnapper, Nightingale, but no, it, it's the FBI agent. So that's a different person. But both of them are bad news, so you know. Uh, yeah. But as I said, we are getting closer to the kidnappers, so next time going to be interesting. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.